been trying to get the bus title dealt with in Washington State, and it's getting fairly expensive. Uh, they want emissions done, so trip permit, 30 bucks per trip permit. Uh, I went down and tried and messed up the other day when the radiator popped. I've been down there a couple of times. They also want a state police inspection to change it into an RV from a bus title. Uh, and I'm, not, I'm not sure if the state police actually does that. It's the problem I'm finding kind of uh, getting mixed signals. So uh, one lady at the counter at the DMV, she was like, oh yeah, no problem. We'll just look that right over. But she's like, oh, you need an appraisal. So I got to get an appraisal. I got to get a emissions check. I got to get a state police uh, inspection that says it has a bed. It has a bathroom facility. They didn't really say it needed a black tank. They just said it needed bathroom and plumbing. The Those two don't have to be together as far as I can tell. But I don't know. So uh, I don't plan on using a black tank, so that'll be a pain anyway. Uh, but I want to be able to drive this thing before I do the conversion. I don't want to throw something together to do it. So either way, it's sounding like it's going to be an expensive deal at this point. Uh, just to get it titled and going. I have insurance. I've got everything going. Um, it's it's not that big a deal so far. Uh, I was looking around on the line, and Schoolie.net has a strange way on their thing by going through Vermont DMV. I guess Vermont DMV is just freaking easy, which is how it should be. I just want to drive it, and it needs to be safe. So, and insured. I mean, that, that's all there should be to it, uh, instead of all this, you know, rigmarole. Uh, they also don't need an appraisal. They use the either the selling price, which I have my sales receipt with the sales tax paid, so you'll owe Vermont 6% of whatever you paid for it, or if you've already paid your tax, I, I guess it doesn't even have to be to them, which is kind of strange. Um, so like the 66 bucks that I would owe them for an $1,100 bus, I've already paid to Washington State, so I guess I don't owe them anything, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's 140 bucks for two years to get it in it licensed, which isn't any different than here, pretty much. Uh, actually, it might be cheaper. Uh, and then they don't charge me for the plates. They're not going to send me a title, though. They're going to send me a, a transferable registration, is, is what the website said. But that was schoolie.net. I think the guy that was come up with this was called uh, Werewolf or something like that is his, is his uh, screen name. But uh, if it works, it works. Uh, I just mailed the letters to Vermont. I sent them my D119 paperwork. I filled in motorhome on my own. It didn't have a block for it for some reason. Uh, it's got one for Jeepney or Jeepney or whatever the heck that is. Uh, but not motorhome or RV. I guess Vermont's a little different. Uh, but as far as I can tell, it looks like a pretty easy process, and we'll see. Uh, you don't have to be a resident, according to the guy on the net. Uh, Vermont will just take your money and do it, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how it works, and I'm optimistic from responses. They've been doing it since 2016 or so. Didn't say if there was any issues. And the latest one was June of 2017 on the website. And I'll update with my information when I get my tags back if it works. But uh, I sent them a check for 140 bucks because I it's older than 25 years. And, or older than 15 years. So you don't get a title. If you do want a title and it's newer than 15 years, it's 35 bucks to get that. Which would be nice, but according to the guy online, you know, <laughs> he says that you can just, once you get their title from Vermont for your registration, you just bring it into the Washington DMV and say, hey, I want to change this over. It's already an RV, according to the paperwork, so they just go, okay, thanks. And I might have to get the emissions test too, but at least I can drive down there without paying another 30 bucks for the uh, trip permit, because been crazy. So I'm optimistic about it and we'll see and I'll check back with you guys later on the results. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up too.